Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. We're going to show you how to install a new suspension rod and spring assembly for your GE washer. It's a really easy job that only requires a quarter inch nut driver, a putty knife, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get one new suspension rod and spring assembly. The reason why you'd be replacing the suspension rod and spring assembly is if the washing machine experiences excessive shaking or vibration during use, or if there's an odd sound during use. To access the part, we'll first need to remove this front panel assembly. Use a putty knife to press in and release the two tabs that hold the front panel in place. Afterwards, remove the front panel. We'll now need to lift up on this top panel. To do so, use a quarter inch nut driver to loosen and remove the two screws that hold the mounting clips in place. You can now lift up and remove this top panel assembly. However, to remove the panel, you're going to have to disconnect a variety of items, including the wiring harness that goes to the lid switch. So, rather than doing that, lift up the panel and just insert a block of wood or something to hold it up. Located at the front part of the washing machine are two different suspension rod and spring assemblies. Today we're going to be replacing this one. Remove any hoses or wiring that may be connected to the rod. With one hand, pull up on the rod, and then with the other hand, remove the socket rod support. Next, remove this lower mount by simply pressing it down and it'll come out. Afterwards, you can remove the whole assembly. Here's the old suspension rod and spring assembly next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Position the new part and then install this plastic mount in the chassis. Position the rod so that this end goes through the hole, so we'll need to pull it up. Install the socket rod support, and then you're going to need to rotate the plastic support so it goes down into position, and then lower down the rod. Reconnect any wires or hoses that were originally attached to the rod. Remove the wood block, and then lower down the top panel. Thread in and tighten the two screws that hold the retainer clips in place. Reinstall the front panel, making sure that the base is positioned on the two mounting tabs. And then, push on the top until it clicks into place. Once the front panel is in place, then reconnect the power cord, and then your appliance should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.